Howdy folks and welcome to another episode of Vintage Gaming. I am the tall turtle not doing Minecraft today. This is Astro Smash. This is the most preferred game I've ever played for in television. My favorite game when I was a kid. It was the first game that I bought on my own for myself as a kid. Back when we had our original in television. And it's not as exciting now I admit as some of the games we do play, but back then this was the game that I preferred to play and I would play this so much that I would actually never lose all my guys. I would just play until I got bored. And that's kind of like Shark Shark I mentioned a couple weeks ago, right? And this is what I would do. I would get my homework done, practice piano for like three hours a day, and then I would come and relax in front of the Intellivision and play some Astro Smash until I couldn't take it anymore, which was rare. Usually I had other obligations before I hung up the Intellivision. Actually, no, I take that back. I think my parents would take over the Intellivision. They were huge Intellivision ColecoVision players as a child, which is kind of funny because um, I'm not really into the modern console games, even though this was a modern game when I was a kid and my parents played it all the time. I really wasn't into it as much as an adult now, but anyway, I prefer other things like PC games and Minecraft and still spend the three hours a day at the piano when I can, things like that. So anyway, I'm just chatting along because there isn't a whole lot to watch. I do have auto fire turned on. That's just what I've always done. Um, probably because my thumb would get sore and break off if I shot manually every single time I had to do this. So I'm not sure how far we're going to go or how long we're going to go for quite yet because... Um, I'm not going to play until I run out of guys because that'll take forever as I run into something and die as I talk. But, um, we're going to go for a while. We'll just go for a while here and see how this goes and appreciate the game and the bright colors. I'm playing this on a 46-inch television about three feet in front of my face because it's in my studio. I have a studio for music as well as YouTube. And that's where I do all my work. And, um... You can probably hear the gamepad clicking below my thumb. That's just the nature of it. But we're just playing, and I'm just filling time with talking because if I were to be quiet, everybody would have clicked off the video. So thank you, those who are still watching. I know we're only a couple minutes into this, but um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the videos. Oh, that's a hard one. Hey, I got it. Please like, please subscribe, please turn on notifications so you can get notified of other vintage gaming videos as well as the Minecraft series. And, um, thank you for sticking with me here and watching this as I play Astro Smash, which I admit isn't nearly as exciting as it was when I was a young lad, but it's still fun. Oh, that pink. Oh, that kind of gave me an instant headache. Um, hopefully we pass this level soon. I think we got to get, gosh, how many thousand points? I can't remember. Maybe it's a thousand points to get past this. I can't remember the intervals and when it changes colors and speeds up. Oh, that's a hard one. There we go. I mean, you can see we got nine guys now already. Um, if this goes the way it used to be when I was a kid, that would get up to about 50 guys before I call it quits. Um, I feel like our score's kind of low, though. I'm not sure why our score's only at 6,200, but hopefully we'll get some more points here soon. Let's get the... I think they call them hurricanes. And then those flashy things are the bombs. I do have my thumb covering the hyperspace button, though. So if I need to move out of the way quickly, you just hit hyperspace. Although, usually you hyperspace into other danger. So I don't make a habit of... Oh, boy. Come here. Okay, I don't make a habit of using hyperspace too much. Ooh, now they're getting faster, finally. Now we're getting something to think about here. All right. So let's see. Ooh. Get me off this color. It's hurting my eyes. Oh my gosh, let's see here. Ooh. I'm trying to take risks and get these smaller, faster ones just to add some excitement here. We're up to 11 guys. Oh boy. Oh boy, I almost had a had an explosion there. If those things touch the ground, you're in big trouble. So you have to get the hurricanes. I'm pretty sure they call them hurricanes. can't remember. I've only read the instructions once, I think. These games usually came with instructions. I don't think you ever really needed... Oh, I don't think you ever needed to um, read them, though. Although, that being said, Utopia was a game I could never figure out. My mother was really good at Utopia, but... I have to remember, I was in the single digits. Oh, 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 oh! I thought I died and I gave up, and I died anyway. Um, 
So yeah, when was this? 1981, 1982, I already missed the title screen year, but whenever this was invented, I was still a young child, but um, I was allowed to play. I mean, this was kind of where it began. We had a Pong clone first, the one with the cylinder controllers and the dials. That was our Pong clone or Pong machine. And then, oh, oh, what? Whoa, okay, anyway. And then we had Intellivision and ColecoVision. I think we bought the Intellivision first and then the ColecoVision right after because my dad's best friend had ColecoVision and he had the special um, controller for the ColecoVision baseball. So then we had the ColecoVision. Then we bought Intellivision 2, the white one. Oh, darn it. And then we had Intellivision 3, which was like a remake of Intellivision 1, which no one talks about, but it existed. I had one. And these game machines, if I remember... Oh, I'm not doing so well. These game machines, if I remember, were hundreds, hundreds of dollars back in the 80s. So if we think an Xbox at like $399, $499, $599 is expensive now, these things were about $199, $299, $399 back in 1982 or so. So think about that. People bought these like crazy. You can, of course, Google the exact prices. Don't quote me on anything. I'm just trying to talk while I play and fill time because who really wants to watch me play this in silence, as I already said. Um, with we'll so much longer we go here, I'm already kind of getting sore thumb on this disc. And I'm running out of things to say, unless I just jump into story time. Which I haven't done yet. I haven't done story time in Minecraft, and I haven't done story time in Vintage Gaming. My Flight Simulator channel, by the way, which currently is not being updated. I used to do story time all the time, but that's because you sit in an airplane for an hour and do nothing. Oh, getcha, there we go. Um, that flight simulator channel, in case interested, 15 nautical mile arc, 15 nm arc. But I stopped updating that. Um, it just wasn't going anywhere. And I don't have time to do real time aircraft flights because my kids are getting older and they go to bed later which means I don't get as much time to record because I only record once my kids are in bed and my wife is working or otherwise occupied. So, no more flight simulator for me, for now anyway. But this in television, this is great. I can whip out a game in a couple minutes and write down my high score for next time and play again. Oh, I love this. This is great. Um, there will be more ColecoVision. I know I've been doing a lot of in television back to back, but that's just because that's what I feel like doing at the moment. Oh, which one? The decisions. I had three to choose from and I hit the rock instead. All right, hey, we're getting faster. This is good, this is good. I like faster, oh boy. Oh boy. All right, I gotta concentrate a little bit more here if I wanna do anything exciting. We're only at 18,000 points, but I think every time all those rocks hit the ground, you go backwards. Yes, you do, I forgot about that, but there's only so much you can do here. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, that one's turned right in the face and I missed it. Okay, let's get that. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, okay. You kind of have to pick and choose and hope sometimes. Oh, these big ones. Okay, well. Gonna clear the field and change this color. This is a nasty color, too. They didn't have many choices, though. Well, at least they were in color. Oh, boy. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, shoot. I can't seem to hit 20,000 points because I keep losing as many as I'm getting. Oh. Losing as many as I'm getting. Let's, um... Let's keep... Ooh, nice. Okay, are we gonna hit 20,000? Please, please. 19.1, we're almost there, we're almost there. We're almost there, 19.4. Going backwards, though. That'll get us close. There we go, 19.8. There, we hit 20,000 points. And we went backwards. So the change screen changed back. Oh, we're gonna die. Bummer. Oh my gosh, I just can't get high enough away from this nasty... <laughs> Green, come on. There we go. Better. Better. This isn't much better than that pink, but it is a little better. Okay, now... Ooh, what's this thing? What was that? Was that Space Armada? Huh. Which, by the way, will be the next episode you watch. will be Space Armada. So that's kind of timely. All right, we're still going here. Ooh, let's see. Still going. I have 14 guys, though, so we're definitely not going to play until I lose my guys. Because even when it does get more difficult, we're not going to lose 14 guys in a short amount of time, and I'm not going to make you watch me for an hour. In fact, let's um, let's just play to 25,000, I think, and then we'll call it a day here. This has gone on long enough, at least for me. 
like I said, thank you for sticking with it. Thank you for enjoying the chatter. Let me know if you like story time, because I can't imagine you'd want to sit and watch me. Uh, hyperspace, nope. I don't think you'd want to sit and watch me just play in silence. So let me know what you think about story time. And um, we will call it a day. Maybe not. I'm having a hard time getting up to 25,000. Let's see. We're so close. Actually, no, we're not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to quick concentrate so I can get to the 25,000. And then we can um, have our sign off. We're so close. But no, we're not because we're going backwards and we're going forwards. Oh, I wanted that. Uh, okay, here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. No, we're not. We're going backwards more than we're going forwards. 25-5. Come, come on. Where are you? There you go. 24-7. I say 25-5. There's 49. There's 25. So thank you for watching another episode of Vintage Gaming on the ColecoVision. I am the Tall Turtle. Join us again for the next episode. Make sure to click subscribe and like and turn on your notifications so that you will be notified of the next video. And I will catch you on the next one.